Hey, what's up, big Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a first look at the newest and greatest screen recorder called EveryCord that works on your iOS device without the need for a computer. Now, EveryCord is the successor of iRec, which as many of you know as the super popular screen recorder that unfortunately was recently canceled. However, the developer is back and is now working on this new screen recorder called EveryCord that will not only work on your iOS device without a computer, but will also work on Android, Windows, Linux, and much more. So if you all are excited to take a first look at this new screen recorder that will hopefully be coming out soon, please hit that like button as it helps out the video and is greatly appreciated. But now, without any further ado, let's head into the video. All right, so as you can see here, we have the EveryCord beta application and the icon is almost identical to the iRec icon, as you can see here. Now, when we open the application, you'll notice that it's almost exactly the same as iRec as they piggybacked off the development of that app to make this one. Now, EveryCord is really cool. If we go to the settings here, you'll see that the resolution can be set to actual size, which is actually better than 1080p. Um, because the actual resolution of an iPhone screen, depending on whether you have a newer model or not, is better than 1080p. Of course, you also have the frames per second, which you can set to 60 frames per second, which is great because that's the actual frames per second that the iPhone normally runs at. And of course, the audio source, they have it so that you can record the device's audio, which is really cool. Unfortunately, you can't record your microphone and the device audio, but being able to record the device audio is something that not many screen recorders have. Anyways, starting a recording is really simple. All you have to do is name the recording and then confirm it. And what's really cool about every chord is that instead of having to pull up on control center and select airplay, the application does it all by itself for you. And as you can see, the recording started without me having to do much. So. Now you'll see the recording right here on the screen. I have it so you all can see how it is. And we're gonna play some Super Mario Run and see how fluid the game actually is and how the recording does with it. So I'm gonna play some Toad Rally and you guys can see how good the recording is with the audio as well. Alright, so when you want to end a recording, all you have to do is head home and tap on the red bar at the top and that'll take you straight back to every chord where you can select done to end your recording. Now from every chord, you can actually see your recordings here and by clicking on it, you can choose to play it, rename it, save it to camera roll or share it directly to different social medias and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and save this to my camera roll. And something that I've noticed with iRec and how it is with many other screen recorders like Airshow is that when you try to view the actual recording from the camera roll or wherever the case may be, um, it's kind of glitchy. So as you can see, nothing has moved after six seconds of the recording going. Um, and like if I manually scrub here, it'll take me forward, but then it'll just kind of pause which is weird, but when I export the actual video to my computer and you guys see it here, it does not look like that. So I'm sure that's something that they will fix as they continue to develop the application. But as of now, it's a really nice screen recorder. I love how the picture looks, the audio sounds really good, and I'd love to hear what you all think about this screen recorder in the comments section below. And let me know if you're excited for every chords release, which will hopefully be coming soon. <laughs> 